What is up guys, Sync here and we're back on Star Trek Fleet Command. So I actually showed the Franklin in a previous video, but I just wanted to actually show you um, the research that it takes to actually unlock some of the modules. Now, before I go in that, I just want to show you, I've been going through the quest, I've been playing for like five hours now straight, trying to do all the missions, fighting with other players just to get the kills on the hostiles. But as you can see, uh, this mission here, bring 6,000 frequency modulators. And it gives a reward of 200 uh, uh, biomaterials and 163 star explorer parts. Now, that wouldn't be too bad. However, if we actually have a look at a Franklin to upgrade. Now, I've already upgraded to Tier 2. I'm Tier 2. Tier 1 wasn't actually that difficult. It was kind of easy. However, with the cargo bay, that was the cheapest option there was to upgrade. Now, I'm going to go through the levels here of what is the cheapest. Next up is going to be the warp engines. As you can see, it's 62 star explorer parts. One of these, which is Franklin Warp Conduit, which I'm going to explain that one in a second because that may confuse a few people. 92 star uncommon crystals, 950 dilithium, and 6,000 frequency modulators. As you can see, I've only got 1,065. Now, if we go over to the shields, it's 8,000 frequency modulators. But no, it gets even more expensive. For the three weapons, which are the Phaser Beam Energy MK3s, it's 12,000 frequency modulators. That's kind of expensive, to be honest. Now, it's saying that you are going to be able to buy it on store by looks of it. I'm not 100% sure, because with the store, they're probably going to release it. So there's going to be um, uh, being able to buy the Franklin and buy the upgrades. I'm not going to be able to buy the upgrades. Don't have the money for it. Might speak to Scope Police if they can help me out on that one. But it's kind of expensive. I won't lie. Now, in a previous video, I did actually tell you about a spot that was actually farming over here, which is... Alpha Horinia. Uh, can't pronounce that properly. Now, I've actually been taking... Uh, not that ship. That ship was crap for doing this. I was actually taking in my Vaklas. Now, my Vaklas could actually take out quite a fair few of these. Now, as you can see, I'm running 233k power. These ships are 359k power. But I could take around about 5 or 6 of these out before I actually do need to repair. So, they're not that bad. The rewards you need to look at is here. These are things you need to concentrate. These are the frequency modulators. Now, these are the items that you actually need to upgrade your USS Franklin. Now, obviously, there are missions out there that will give quite a fair bit of the frequency modulators. I was speaking to a friend of mine now on Shell. Um, you can find his link in the description. I'm going to promote him on this one because he told me about some of the missions he's doing. Which, you know, you can get like 12k frequency modulators for some of the missions. Haven't got there yet. I will be working towards that to actually upgrade my Franklin. But yeah, it's, it's really expensive. And some of the donations that you have to do with the frequency modulators does get quite expensive as well. Now, if you remember back in the Botany Bay, it is actually working a little bit like that. Now, as you, uh, as I showed earlier, uh, let me quickly get up my Franklin, is these. The Franklin Warp Conduit. Now, you actually need one of these per tier. So, no matter what, your warp engines need one of those conduits to actually tier up. Now, to get hold of these is basically when you've gone through all the actual starting off missions. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you this just so you know. I did mention this in the last video with the, the news here for the Franklin. Down at the bottom, depending on your operations level, depends on what level you can tier at. Okay, take that in mind. Now, I'm level 27. I missed out on the tier 7. However, if we go down here, USS Franklin. As you can see, part 7 I'm on now. A bit like down here with the Botany Bay part 6. You need to collect a certain amount of things to upgrade it. But with this one, all you need to do is when you've actually unlocked this mission, you just literally are just collect, 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 depending on what your operations level are. And you actually get these, the Franklin Warp uh, Containment. It's the conduit that I was talking about earlier, but this is for when you get to the uh, part 7, which I'm not going to be able to. But you also get a nice reward of dilithium as well as the bio minerals. So that's kind of cool.
Now, as I said, with my VAC class at the moment, ignore the crew setup, I had to change it for something. As I said, with my VAC class, I can take out around about 5-6 of the level 26 swarms, which are running at 367k. Now, with the actual Franklin, this is what I love about it, is this, sabotage. When fighting swarm ships, the Franklin's damage is multiplied by 26. Ship abilities are always active. So basically, if I get this up to tier 5, it should be able to take out the level 26s uh, a hell of a lot better than what my Vaklas does. So as I say, it's not cheap to be able to actually tier up the Franklin. It is going to be expensive, but if you're going through the missions, you are going to be getting some of the rewards that will benefit so much. And again, like earlier I showed you, the uh, mission where I needed to give 6,000 of those frequency modulators away. It's kind of a hit in the stomach, really. It's a bit of a hit in the stomach when you're working so hard to get all these modulators and then you have to give a shitload of them away. It is a bit of a hit in the stomach, but keep going through the missions because the rewards will build up to help you tear up the Franklin. That is the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. I will be going over some of the events that are going to be starting in... When do they start? In 22 seconds. So... That video is about to follow. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to know anything else about the Franklin, leave it in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Toodle!